Well, Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister's own guidelines outline that ministers and parliamentary secretaries must avoid a conflict of interest or the appearance of one at all times. The guidelines state that there should be no preferential access to government or the appearance of preferential access given to individuals or organizations because they've made financial contributions to politicians and political parties. Now, Mr. Speaker, can't the Minister of Justice see that by attending a pay-to-play private event with high-priced Bay Street lawyers who might be considered for a governor and council appointment that she is actually granting preferential access? Here, here. The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, we've said on a number of times in this House the Minister contacted the Ethics Commissioner proactively to ask whether or not it was appropriate for her to attend that fundraising activity as every member in this House of Commons does from time to time and as did ministers in the previous Conservative government from time to time. She received a confirmation that it was entirely appropriate for her to do so and in fact the Ethics Commissioner in a three-page letter confirmed that to uh, my honourable colleague's uh, uh, colleague who asked the Ethics Commissioner that exact question. We consider this matter closed. He's obviously having a st uh, struggle ending the matter. I remember for Red Deer Lacombe. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister uh, states that the definition of a stakeholder is an individual employed in or contacted by or who otherwise represents corporations or organizations that have current or anticipated official dealings with ministers. The Minister of Justice had a secret and private pay-to-play fundraiser in Toronto with high-priced lawyers who have a history of lobbying the Justice Department. Now, why did this minister contravene the Prime Minister's guidelines, which is a bar above what uh, the House Leader is currently saying he's defending her with, and why did she put the integrity of her office in so much jeopardy? Good here, here. Good honourable Government House Leader. Speaker, my honourable colleague uh, knows full well the minister did no such thing. Uh, this supposed secret fundraiser that he keeps referring to, just because he repeats these exaggerated lines, Mr. Speaker, don't make them true. A fundraiser where every single donation is disclosed on the internet is hardly a secret fundraiser. It's something that members opposite have done many, many times over and will continue to respect all of the provisions of the Prime Minister's open and accountable uh, government code, as well as the Conflict of, uh, and Interest, Conflict of Interest Act and any other related provisions.